We are here at uh, Kings Park Arena, another beautiful rugby day, but uh, particularly special this one. Here with, uh, of course, uh, the gentleman from Nshera, uh, from the entire league. But first, Bruno, before we even get into too much of the dynamics of what today has been about, let us first understand um, how was Chigali, what was Chigali about, or why did a Ugandan, um, let me say, group of friends or group of, uh, of uh, OBs have to go to Chigali to celebrate uh, the camaraderie and, of course, the, the organization that is entire. Uh, yes, uh, Bruno Kappa is my name, Podcast Podcast. Ntare was a fantastic and special destination for a final. Mm. Considering the finals have been have been around in Kampala and then Jinja and even in Barat, Ntare itself, which was also a fantastic final. Mm. But now it was a unique way because now guys had to cross borders to face off. Um, you might not know how how competitive the entire league is, but I can give you three aspects. No entire yeah, because the clubs are according to years. No year does, doesn't have a sponsor, mm. and they have more than one sponsor. You can imagine the competitiveness. And also, there is there are rules that govern the entire league, which are so, so strict. There is one that is called the 640 rule, mm. where a year can make transfers, but then you need to have not more than four players outside your year. Okay. You can imagine how competitive that is. Mm. Even the years that the guys that were in in 1994, 1998, you need to have your boys participate. Mm. And you also have a fight when it comes to transfers. Okay? And now you can imagine that competition to get a slot for the final. And to me, the two clubs that made it to the to the the two the two the, the two teams that made it to the final mm. are the best. Mm. In a way, the winners who are the Shera mm. go to win their third shield. Mm. It's called a shield, not okay. a title. Mm. They, they go to win their shield. And now here is Omuzuma, which is which is a young a young a young year compared to Shera, mm. and very young boys, they know football. Okay. They are menace to every every team mm. in the in the in the league. And now it's not their first time to make it to the final. And now you can imagine how badly they wanted it to win and they've they've never won, you get? So it was a tough one. And now also what makes it special was the invite was from the president of the Republic of Rwanda, Paul Kagame, who is also entire OB. Interesting. So you can imagine. Yeah. I think you even saw some press statements flying around before the final, yeah. telling the Rwandan babes to host, to host the boys properly. I mean, no one did want to go. Mm. The boys can talk more, especially Albert, who, yeah. who, who is an elder, mm. an elder. <laughs> and the PRO of the league as well. <laughs> okay, anyway, let us uh, first ask Albert a few things. Of course, we shall first let him introduce himself properly um, because no protocol has to be observed in whatever manner it is. And also then just to get to understand how did this collaboration be with the Pirates and Shera happen? I'm Albert Ahave. Uh, I'm the Public Relations Officer of the Tari Lions League, the NLL. Um, I'm glad to be here uh, because, like I said earlier, I'm a Pirates fan. Um, I live in the neighborhood, so I like to come here. I like to watch Pirates games. But most importantly, Pirates has some very old boys. Mm. So it's good motivation for us um, to come to watch games. Okay. The Ontario Lions League is the oldest um, school's alumni league. Yeah. Uh, this is our 10th official, uh, our 14th season. Uh, but we've been around for 10 years. Mm. Uh, since 2014, that's when we officially started competing under the umbrella of Ntare School. Yeah. There have been some games, some competitions earlier that involved Ntare Old Boys mm. when we were mixed up with other people. So 2014 is when we really started playing under the umbrella yeah. of the NLL. It has been an amazing journey of growth, um, a journey in which every year we have pioneered things that have then been taken up by other alumni leagues. So we are proud to be the pioneer of the alumni league business. Mm. And um, we've done well at it. 
it's done well for us. Yeah. It's pushed the brand very well. Um, and in Shera, our champions this year, their third championship, mm. is a team we are very proud of okay. because of what they do for the brand, what they do for their own brand under the umbrella of the Lions League. Yeah. And we congratulate them. They played an amazing final in Kigali, just like they've played a couple of amazing finals before that. They are now one of the only two teams that have a third star on their jersey. It's a big achievement. It's a very difficult thing to do. Mm. It's not been done by every team, just them and our Shoichi. Mm. And they've done a very good job at it. We are glad for them to be able to go out and attract other brands. Mm. The Pirates are the hip young team in the business of rugby. And, and, and they have so many national team players. They have produced so many of them. They have produced so many leaders in rugby. And for them to now be in a partnership with a team in our league is a plus to our brand as the Lions League. Okay. It's a plus to the brand of the Rugby League. Mm. It's a plus to the brand of the Pirates. But it's a general plus to the brand of these sports that people call small sports, mm. but sports that come out of schools, especially traditional schools. Mm. These sports are a select club, and we are proud to be a member of the select club. Okay. So I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be uh, called by my younger brothers of the Shera mm. um, to be able to join them in their new partnership and celebration with the Pirates League. And law may this continue. Okay, that is very, very elaborate. Um, just jumping this side now. Um, of course, I want to get to know your name and I want to get to know your position with Nshera. And then just to get to understand, of course, from your dynamic, I know he has given um, something quite elaborate, but I'm sure there is something you'd like to add on that. Uh, well, I am Lefnat Bright Duncan Mzindana, the current Nshera president. Uh, how we happen to be at King's Park today? When we won our third uh, shield, which was in Chigali, as I already said, it was a massive, massive, massive turn up. We had around uh, four buses going to Chigali. So, Shira was well represented in Chigali. On our way back, when we were coming back after the trophy, I uh, was called up by one of my good friends who happens to be the first coordinator. And they wanted to partner with us, champions, celebrating champions. That was the, that, that was the catch. Because they, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are the current champions here. Uh, obviously, we had, we had a few days to plan this. This was conceived around Monday. So we had a few days to plan all this and come here and be with you. We have watched the game from the start up to the end and we are lucky that you have won today. Very, very happy for you. Congratulations to the Pirates. Uh, Tyre is a cohort of... Uh, Nshera is a cohort of Tyre Opis, year 2005-2010. Uh, we have been in the league for a while since it started, actually. This is our third trophy. Uh, the season was so good for us. We played 20 games and unbeaten. In the 20, in the 20 games we played, we are the invisibles at the moment. So, uh, being here, celebrating the champions is a very good thing and we are happy for everyone has come here to support us. Yeah, this guy, that is it. Yeah, let's first talk a little bit about uh, this match. Of course, I want to know your name, but... Uh, um, where was the inspiration that came from? Because we keep seeing on social media the posts that got very, very fabulous stuff, the designs, the Chisati, the, the jerseys are amazing. I'm sure I need to get one for myself as well, but what's the inspiration? Who's the partner? Tell us more about this. Um, about your share? About uh, the uh, merchandise. Okay, Um. thank you very much. I'm Brian Baino Mikisha, yeah. commonly known as Baino. Mm. And, uh, well, we happen to have one of the best uh, merchandise producers in, uh, in Kampala, mm. Uganda, and that is Apex Sports. Uh, the CEO is a share person who are with him, and he just happens to be our coach. Our so coach. is this Gambano? No, not, <laughs> not Gambano. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we, we do have a team that actually comes up with these ideas. Mm. I happen to be part of, the, of that team, same as uh, Bright here. So whenever we want to do something for the team, we put in a lot of effort and time. We don't just let him do anything for us. Eh? Yeah, for example, like this, uh, for this season, we decided to do a retro kit. Because eh? we've done so many kits. We've done a Chisati kit before. We've done everything before. And then we were like, but for this season, since we are making 10 years yeah. eh? as, as the entire league, we're like, as in Shera, as the team that always does something out of the ordinary. 
Let's do something that has not been done before. As you can see, this kit that we are putting on, it's a retro kit back in the 90s, where most of us were born. I don't know if we were also born in the same year, but <laughs> eh, most of the Shira people were born in the early 90s, 91, 92. Eh? So this kind of kit is that I went for, eh? with a badge in the middle and everything, the fire kind of thing. And we're very happy that it actually caught fire. It was very, very nice. Eh? Yeah. When it came to the finale, uh, there had been something going around about the Chisati, what, Masabu, we were like, there's no way we can go to the final as the team that has the most vibe and then we don't have a Chisati, mm. so we decided to go for the Chisati. So yeah, we also hope by the fact that we, the AVAC CEO is in our year, but we also put in a lot of effort to have the best jerseys in the league. Yeah, so that's, that's, a, that's very interesting. Okay, now just understand. Where did the name Nshera originate from? Oh. That is what I also want to know. Okay, now Nshera, mm. uh, it's a Erinyankore word to mean of Shera, mm -hmm. but back in back in the day at mm. school, we used to have the morning porridge, the white porridge yeah. that we used to take for breakfast early in the morning, like at around six six thirty. So that's where we derived our name, our name from. Yeah. Most of these other teams in the league, they have different names. They are, most of them are slang eh? mm. for, for different things that are in the league. But us as in Shera, we are the white porridge that you take in the morning as you're going for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know that, that white porridge, eh? the way it can be deceptive. <laughs> very, very cool at the top. Then you go in Very there. hot within. Eh? That, that's, that's how, how we Shera came yes, to the final. Yeah. <laughs> we look like as if we are the <laughs> inside for the football. You, you look at us, you look at me, you think I cannot kick a ball? Find me on pitch and you'll see what I'll do to you. Eh? That's how we are. We are very calm and collected on top, but within, we are very hot. So that's how Inshera came about uh, in 2014. We joined the league in season two mm. because we missed season one by a small margin. Mm. Uh, a friend of ours called Peter, who is also in Inshera, called us as like, there are some hobbies of ours who have started the league come and we can participate. So it was like a Saturday, we had just left campus, because uh, 2014 is when we got down with campus. We, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guys did three years from 2011. So we gathered a few friends, we rushed to Nakawa, where the first season was, and we were a bit late, by hours. So we found when the Alberts had just started playing, and they're like, ah, you guys are late. So join us next season. So the next season, which was a few weeks later, we joined season two, and from then, actually, we were the youngest team to yeah. join the league. And we joined before older guys even. Yeah. Yeah. So from then, we played around five seasons in vibes because they told us the league is for networking. So yeah. we came, the binos used to start every game, <laughs> Zinana, they were playing until we were like, but we need to go on that show. Mm. So around season eight, it became very serious. We gathered more members, the younger guys, what, and then we started competing. So from season eight up to season fourteen, we've been in five finals out of seven seasons. So you can imagine. And in those five years, we've lost three games. In, in five the, years, yes, that is the share for you. <laughs> yes, eh? that is how good we are. Eh? This whole last season, we went unbeaten. We won the trophy, invincible. The season before, we lost one game. We missed out the final by a small margin. The season, the other season, we won it. So that is how competitive we are. And then we also bring the vibe to the league. Mm -hmm. Always creating new things. But the first case to have personalized merchandise and all that stuff. So I think that's why even pirates eh, were like, we need to partner with these guys. Because we are like you. We are like pirates. Eh? The vibe is the same. Mm -hmm. Youth vibes, the kids. There's a time we had a war on uh, social media about the rugby kids. Remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was saying the other guys were putting on funny, yeah, funny the things. national team shots. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so you can see there's a lot that connects us. Yeah. Most of the pirates fans, the blues, the what they now are, yeah, they are our people, and then we've shared that bond for a long time. So that's how it's very easy for us to connect us. Yeah, Bruno. Yeah, and uh, we talked about branding and. One thing I must tell you in, in the entire Lions League, I think Shera has been the most, most team to handle that branding very well. Uh, they always have a new kit for, for a new season somehow, and then even within a season, they endeavor to bring in much. Um, I don't know if I should give it to the to the creative minds within that year, within the team, because as you saw, the National Cricket, the, the Cricket Association put up an open invitation of designs. You design and submit, 
you will get money and your your kids will be chosen for the T20 World Cup happening and then guess who wins the Shira captain one man who is a designer created quite a nice kit for the that the national time the national team cricket team will don in the T20 World Cup and to me I see that as a strength that even teams in there or even clubs in in the different disciplines can pick on branding 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 and also in vigory on the players i mean we've always talked about it personal branding is key and it defines you within the sport that's yeah, interesting you know um and also just as you guys have talked about so many things of course including the culture and everything the culture here is uh, Saturdays are rugby days and this you're getting a sneak peek of what a rugby Saturday is like. So, I don't know how many rugby Saturdays you've attended. I won't ask for those details, but I want to know so far how is this one going for you? Uh well, I haven't attended many rugby Saturdays, but I'm I'm really happy to be here today. It hasn't been disappointing as I can say. The organization is really on point. I don't know if they can get a shot of what is up there, but well, the organization is on point and we're happy to be here. That's great. So um I think finally what I'm going to ask is um have you guys um indulged with the Fat Cats podcast before? I in have. any way? I have. <laughs> I, I know people who go on it. <laughs> I know Cesar. <laughs> I've, I've watched, I've taken an interview from him. Mm. Um, um, there was a series that was played at Chadondo, remember? Yeah, it the, was the Victoria yeah, Cup. Victoria Cup. Yeah. Uh, the game, I think, between Zambia and Kenya. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we did a small cameo, so mm. I have been on the Fat Cats podcast. Yeah, okay, that's before. interesting. So, um, lastly, there was this back and forth during the course of this week about uh, the entire league, the match, the organization versus the Uganda Premier League. <laughs> and uh, very many of you were in a position where you felt like well, that uh, probably the entire people can be able to do the job a little better. Do you think it's the case? I mean, I'll speak to that. Mm. I, I am a fan of the UPL. Mm. Brian here, we go to UPL games together. We support the same team, KCCA. I support Nick. He supports <laughs> Nick. He goes Nick. to how did, that, how did that happen? He's I a big Nick for Nick. So I watched Nick go from down. He's a serving down, officer. A serving officer. officer. <laughs> so, yeah, that comes so, easy. <laughs> so we are not unaware of the fact that that's the premier division yeah. of football mm. in our country. And we are not idiots. We don't denigrate the National League in any way. Yeah. But we are confident in the product that we have, the work we have done with the Lions League. We compare ourselves with the market, the other leagues that play as well as we do. We've played against those leagues in the Champions League. We know the numbers we brought to the Champions League. We know that on days when there was no Terry League playing, there were no fans at Legends. So we know what we bring to the table. We know what products we have. And while we respect the, the Premier League, the UPL, yeah. but we also know that there are things in the new times that we do better than the Premier League. And some of the people saying that, they know these things. We feel that as people who watch the, the UPL, mm. there are things we could contribute to them or there are things that they could learn by coming to these alumni leagues. And not just our league. The Smart League, the Buddha League, the Chibuli League, the Mbara High School League, they call it the Chapa League. There are many of these young leagues where there are young people that could teach the old heads a thing or two. Yeah. So I think people should be more open to picking ideas from both ends. Because we know the ideas that we should pick from UPL. Maybe we already picked those and that is how we are where we are. But Polish, get with the times. The Ugandan population, 85% of the Ugandan population is under the age of 40. Which tells you that the biggest population is in these alumni leagues. So the top league, the UPL, should come down to these alumni leagues and learn a thing or two. Change their vibe. Change the way they do their social media. Change the way they do their branding. Imagine a Chisati of Vipers and KCC. Mm. A Chisati of yeah, Express. <laughs> like, these new ideas are look nice. At the they need, look, look at this look metro at kit. <laughs> yeah, let it's these guys... Huh? Yeah. They, they need to zoom in on, on what is here. What is here. This is we just, we need them to pick up these ideas. So, oh, 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 so, these are ideas. 
So when we say So imagine how many stars SC Villa would have on their jersey or KCC or Express. So when we say this on social media, it's banter, but it's banter to improve each other. It's not that we we, we denigrate the UPL, it's not that we think lowly of the UPL. No, we don't. We mm. pay our money to go and watch the UPL. If we didn't think it was a brand worthy of going to watch, we wouldn't do that. So we just need them to learn from what these young people are doing in all these alumni leagues, not just the entire league. Yeah. You've seen the events that Budo and Smack do at Legends. Mm. Go there, learn from them, go to these leagues. I mean, why don't these UPL clubs attend these school leagues and recruit fans from there? If you are KCC or you are Vipers or you are Express or you are Chitara and you got 30 or 40 f- jerseys and went to a, a, a Lions League Sunday game day or you went to the Smack League or you went to the Chibuli League or, or Chitovu League and uh, Shark and you gave out these jerseys and recruited these guys into supporting your team, you would increase your numbers as opposed to the usual ways of hoping that people just come to the league because you're a UPL team. So it's a thing of challenging each other, learning from each other, and all growing. In the end, it's sports that grows. Yeah. I think that was very, very interesting. Bruno, I don't know if you have anything um, to say before we close this. Uh, I'm just glad uh, on many things. I'm glad I went to Kigali. I'm glad my my we thought you we thought you're not we thought you're not coming back. No, Chigari, Chigari is not a new city to me. It's one hour from my home where I'm born. So, it's not, but I was so excited because I'd taken like four years without going. So, and I'm also glad the reason I went to Boat fulfilled because my team got to lift the shield. Also, I'm happy for the partnership between Pirates and Shera, which is, which to me is chemistry. It's chemistry. Uh, the age group, almost the same, with respect, to, with respect to the Pirates elders. And also, the vibe is the same. We know ourselves in a way. And then we, we have the tag, because in the Lions League, Shera has the most works. <laughs> and so is pirates in the in the rugby league. So so it's it's just it's just chemistry and bonding and everything coming together. I I just pray that our XCOM and the XCOM of, of Sheriff get to cook more and we build better, better stuff. I, I mean it's a sport we love, it's a friendship we have to make, it's a connections we have to make. So we just hope for the better and um, I still pray um, that one day entire league will come back to Kings Park as well. <laughs> okay. hopefully, hopefully, yeah, because they used to also have their league. Yeah, but of course, like you say, definitely this is the start of something great. Um, great to see that rugby is opening itself up to different brands, different, um, I should say, communities, and um, making people embrace the sport, but also getting to embrace what those brands are all about. So um, the beauty about everything is um, Pirates won 29-21. Luckily, because uh, if Walukuma had won, I don't know if the party would have parted. <laughs> but gladly, uh, Pirates was on the right side of the scoreboard. And uh, also now we get into the celebrations later on. So we are looking forward to that. And of course, here with the gentlemen from Shera and the entire league. Uh, check them out. Get the Bisati and the Jazzes. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fat Cats podcast. Cheers.